Uh, yes, I did be become aware of the publication of the 2022 uh, WASI results. Uh, slightly over 422,000 uh, students, in fact, getting closer to 423,000 students uh, took the exam, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually below the number of students uh, who took it in the previous year. And that in itself is curious. Last year, the number was 446,352. Mm -hmm. And this year was 422,823. Now, the president's commentary uh, usually would not have caught my attention. But when you juxtapose that with uh, the challenges uh, bedeviling the implementation of the policy, a policy that we all agree to, that we have accepted, except for the uh, refusal and sometimes blatant uh, disregard by government to address the issues as we present them. Uh, we don't think that the policy is a bad policy. It's the implementation. And I'm sure you've had a chance to see the communique issued by uh, CHAS at their 60th annual conference where they list a long plethora right. of challenges bedeviling the program. <clears throat> and we've always been, been, been talking about these challenges as well. So, well, if you look at the uh, percentages in terms of those who have passed English, uh, 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 core maths, and, and the rest of them, uh, it will look like uh, there's been an upward bounce. It will look like, like there's not. If you were to scrutinize the, the figures look like. in detail, and I have it, and you even compare these subject areas to previous years, I'm not even going to go to 2016 because I think that that comparison is baseless. I mean, the students who wrote in 2016 were far less. They were not beneficiaries of state-procured APOC, in this case, past examination questions and uh, chief examiner's reports and all of that. I would have wished that the president would have compared the first year of the Fishney High School to the current year and to do his analysis and oh, tell us okay. that there has been an improvement. Yeah. But when you try to throw it back all the way for political expediency, you then invite people like me to tell you that you have no legitimate basis because the conditions and the circumstances and the resources available to the students at the time, including the provision of state procured past exam questions and chief examiner's reports, were not there at the time. Right. And so we have argued that even the figures that the president is gloating about would have been better if not for the challenges that we all know well, have, still be deviling. The program. So, so what I want us to do is um, we will we'll actually shelve the issue of the education and I think do this analysis um, another time so we can give some more time to it. Um, um, Let, let's like, why he started education. I uh, hope. Uh, yes, I, I think, I mean, we, we, analysis on what? On the education, yes. yes I mean, we, we, because we have a lot of documents that we want to uh, peruse and look at. Uh, Annie, how I, I think that Honorable Park is a ranking, mm -hmm. deputy ranking, ranking of the communication, uh, education, education committee. And I've seen a letter uh, addressed to the chair for heads of Charles to meet. To meet, mm -hmm. meet uh, Actually, the meeting has happened. Oh, it has oh, happened has already. Yes. Oh, that's, that's good. Look, for what Honorable Park is saying, that what the president said is not true, or then on the second leg, he says it would have been better, but for the challenges in the education sector. So we should admit that indeed. It's been the best results in the last eight years. Not true. You don't have any figures to dispute. I am going to read to you. Your you don't have any from figures. Last year. You don't have any figures to dispute that. It's been the, it's the, the best. The, this is the record. It's the best record from where? This is it. That has been published by Waik. Comparative table. 2020 yes. to 2022. The percentage. The percentage. 57.3 percent. It says overall results put together. That is the problem. Over you need to drill this. Ah. Look at it region ah. by region. Ah. Andy. Urban Andy. versus rural. Andy. Before you look at Andy. the bigger Andy. picture. Andy. Oh, Andy. 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 What are you talking about? about? You do all this, then you put that average. Within the context of 2021, uh, 2020 to 2021, it is not steady. There is no steady improvement in all subject <laughs> areas. Okay. Some of them have recorded lesser figures this okay. year compared Good. to last year. All right. I want you to explain that. Andy, let, let I, I know that the way of calculating an average is putting the cumulative, cumulative together rate. and strike an average. And that's what has been done. And you are fighting yourself. No, I'm even and I'm happy that the statement the that of the I'm, say, I'm saying that uh, 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 if, like you said, if all other issues in the educational sector has been 
dealt with properly, we will have a better uh, record than we have today. So don't be. Look, I've taken, uh, I've visited some second cycle institutions in recent times, and I've had close conversation yeah, with yeah, table. heads yeah. of institutions. And Annie, the concern shared by some individual heads of the second cycle institutions are part of the uh, broader concerns raised by Charles. And let me admit that Charles has acknowledged government effort in ensuring that we, we, we've come this far. And he said, look, they, everybody acknowledges that the free SHS is the best policy that has happened to education in the history of this country. And that one is acknowledged by the heads of institutions themselves. The Charles that met you, this is their uh, uh, word. But, I mean, <coughs> you go to the issues raised, and one of the key issues on uh, number four, mm -hmm. he says the role of national buffer stock in the supply of food to schools in itself is problematic in a smooth implementation of free SHS policy. Charles recommends that, therefore, the buffer stock system, considering all the attendant problems associated with its role in supply of food to schools, must be scrapped immediately, and free SHS criteria should be rechannel those funds directly to the schools to perform those roles. This would reduce the extra stress of her struggling to even appeal to suppliers to supply food on behalf of the buffer stock company, looking for non-existent funds to travel over various distances to cut food to our schools, dealing with under supplies and overweight supplies over invoicing and even intimidation by some suppliers. Mention must be made of the fact that there are times some schools are denied of their food items simply because of complaints. And then they go on to point eight. The Ministry of Education and the GES should hasten the process of transiting all schools from the current semester system back to the trimester system, uh, from the current trimester system to the semester, uh, trimester, from semester to trimester system, since the current system put a lot of stress on school facilities and infrastructure. Look, when we were in secondary school, I think over centralization of procurement mm -hmm. and distribution to schools should stop. I think it's not helpful. And we should give them the number of students and then a budget for them to procure. To procure at their the local level. level. This will boost local economies wherever they are. And then the heads... But you know why we are not decentralizing such projects? Why? You don't know why? No. Go ahead. Tell me. Go ahead. No, since you've been... Tell me. No, just no, 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 boys. You just no, go ahead. Please. Of course, when you say job for the yeah. boys, for the boys. No, please, please. I, I disagree with you. We've piloted this and it's not yielding results. Look, it's not every school that has a school bus or truck to even go to the center to go and cut the food. Who pays for the transportation? The heads of schools, when there's a food shortage and if they have uh, uh, control over food production, uh, procurement, they have a way to deal with their suppliers and will never have these problems. And we've done this, and the heads of schools are complaining. Look, I've had interactions with them. It's a major problem. Mm. Centralizing uh, food production. Mm. And then, look, sometimes food could be brought from Techiman to Accra. And somebody has to come for it from Accra yeah. back on the way to Kumasi. And these are experiences that are not healthy for well, education. All right. So, so we need to look at it. Hel uh, Helga wants me to ask you a question. She says, collecting tax revenue is one thing. Utilizing the same for the right thing is another. So when uh, road tolls were abolished, we were told it was to reduce traffic because uh, the revenue coming through there was no because the revenue uh, coming through was not significant. People lost their jobs. Now road tolls are being reintroduced. Wow! 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 Yeah, I, I it's not a question. It was, who, who, just yeah, me I mean, it's true. Whoever followed me then, I spoke against the removal of the road tolls, and I'm happy it's coming back. Certainly, uh, uh, it was not it was not a, 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 a popular decision with me. And I've said that on this network. So, and yeah. a quick one. So let so, me let me well, finish. So, no, I'm not reading. So, uh, let me finish. Time is up. It. Time is up. No, what no, I want to say is that Charles has indeed met us, okay. and they introduced their new executive, and they took us through this. Yes. And they are soliciting the help of uh, the committee uh, to work with them and government and GAS to address some of These the points issues different. that they have raised. But the committee, at the end of the meeting, truly sympathised with. Uh, the issues and uh, has agreed to arrange a meeting between the three groups the ministry GES on the one hand Charles on the other side and then the committee for us to see how best 
And I am happy that, if for nothing at all, uh, Honorable Sylvester agrees with me uh, on the issue of buffer stock. I have long argued that that signalization of the food distribution system clearly presented problems. But and if you look at it's important okay. institution to the extent that the challenge buffer stock the food can issue actually is supply the main... food to the schools on request yes. and when the school has their budget. Because in this case, if you listen to what Charles is saying, in some instances, they go to negotiate on behalf of a buffer stock. Okay. Why you don't okay. have that? So capacity. I have to make way for, for the